What is going on my fly guys? Welcome as we turn back with another video and yeah, it's been a long while. Problem is, uh spring season. That that that's my excuse, and yeah, I have not had a lot of time, but it's over. And uh yeah, summer's around the corner, so I'm gonna try to get a lot of work done. I'm not promising anything because I have a summer job. But without further ado, uh let me just show you something. Alright, so I just need to load up my RU team build. I should have done that before. Are you suspect test? Yes, there's suspect testing Tyrantrum and Mega Steelix, which I I love both of them. But you know, if you love something, you must let it go. And that is what's gonna happen. I feel like they're both gonna get banned. I mean look at this. Look how clickbaity they are. These few teams may have been made with a suspect. So yeah, Steelix, Tyrantrum. Hyper offense, I didn't put, put any of them because I knew they were going to be suspect tested. But anyway, Steelix and Tyrantrum, that's just there so I could do stuff. Tyrantrum. Scroll down, some joke teams. Yes, yes, yes. Steelix. Tyrantrum. Tyrantrum and Steelix. You get the idea, okay? So, um, I'm currently low on the ladder because I don't care. I'm not going to vote in the suspect test because I did not make Rex first time. I didn't really care, and I'm not going to make it second time So because I, I don't care. So, we're actually going to be doing something I haven't done in a long time. We're going to owe you with this team. So, let me just show you the team. Got me, the Feraligator, of course. You know, the typical Feraligator set. Of course, the, in case you didn't know, Gator Boy is for Feraligator. Well, Totodile, because my favorite Pokemon is Totodile. Anyway, then we got Almunia, who came from RU all the way up to OU, my boy. <laughs> and, yeah, we got the defensive one. Trex, the Choice Scarf, Ty Tyranitar. Not, I almost said Tyranitar, oh my god. Then we got Disty Hoxie, the Excadrill, who works well with Trex. I got this set originally has it with Swords Dance, but I put Stealth Rock because I need the rocks up just to help. Because it helps find the KOs that Feraligator cannot do alone. Then we got Fletch Big Bro, uh, Talonflame, get it, with the typical Sharp Beak set. And we got Not Me, <laughs> the Star Me, and yes, the one that just helps with support. That is the team, and let me show you something. <laughs> it's valid for OU, I don't know why I did that, but anyway. So let's go jump into it. I don't know OU that much, I've laddered a little bit with this team, I've done alright. <laughs> alright, so I don't know anything, just gonna put that out, well, no. I know some stuff, so I think he's going to lead with Heatran, so I'm just going to go and lead with uh, Disty Hoxie on the Keldeo. Uh, I'm going to go straight into Almunia. It walls Keldeo pretty well. Even if it Icy wins, I think it's a 3 hit KO with a special defense IVs or EVs. How it specs damage, so. going to. I'm going to Giga Drain, even if he switches out to Breloom, which I expect him to. It breaks its Sash and does some damage. So, he's probably going to SD up on the predicted switch. So, I'm going to just throw out the... Oh, okay. So as he... Ooh, nice. Read my guy. And I'm just going to go straight for a Spore. I think we could live... Yes, don't flinch. Good. I knew we could live that. Um, I don't know how, but yeah. I'm going to go into Trex, and if he stays in, tries to wake up, Go for a bullet punch. I could pursue it out. If not, I get free switch into Tyranitar. Either way, I'm getting a free switch. And if he goes um, into something like Heatran, uh, how much does Superpower do? So, Tyranitar, uh, normal Tyranitar, Choice Scarf against uh, Heatran. Uh, I'm gonna go just with that. Superpower, oof. Can't do anything back. So I'm afraid to free to just go for a superpower, which does a lot. Flash cannon, ah! This doesn't have flash cannon, sorry. Um, I just have to move that over here. I don't know. Offensive has flash cannon? Yeah, that did about right. So, he knows I'm locked in, and he could eat, well, no, he, alright, he just lets it go, which helps me a lot, and look at those stat changes, Any, everything but special attack. Alright, so, He's free to go into Keldeo, I feel, because Almunia is pretty low on health. I know it has Regenerator, but yeah. But Heatran is out of the picture. Keldeo does come in, unfortunately. And I think I'm... Getting on to Almunia, see what it could do. If it dies, it kind of sucks. As he doubles into Chansey. Alright, this is a free switch. 
I'm gonna go into this Dehoxie on the Heabell, okay. So Metagross is asleep. I'm gonna go for a Rock Slide predicting Zapdos. There we go. There's that Rock Slide. That does damage. Alright, Zapdos is obviously gonna be faster. I think it's gonna go straight for a Volt Switch, so I'm gonna go into Amunia. I don't typically carry a flying stab. I'm gonna go for a Hidden Power Fire. I don't wanna. Uh, ah! Alright, so he does have Heat Wave, and that does damage, so I'm, I'm gonna go into not. Ooh. This is actually a pretty bad situation I'm put in here because if he Volt Switches. Electric does work to my team, but I have an immunity and a really good resistance, so that's that's my reason. I'm gonna go in, I want This goes for a heat wave, good. Now I'm back up to really good health on Almunia, and I'm able to score something to sleep now. If he goes into um Breloom, he can't really touch me, so there he goes, Zapdos is asleep. And I'm gonna go freely into Tra Ooh, actually. If I go in Nothing's really stopping uh, for Alligator from setting up right now. So if I go into for Alligator and Dragon Dance, hoping for another turn of sleep. Uh, I said hoping. So I'm going to go into tracks right now and just... Honestly, throughout the pursuit, I'm predicting him to actually switch out right here. Maybe go. Uh, why would you stay there? It's the defensive variant. So Trex is going down here. But that's okay because I could go into Disty Hoxie right now. Alright, whatever. As he roost up. And I'm able to go into Disty Hoxie. And. Throughout the rocks, like this is not looking good because we lost two of our big sweepers. We only have two left. <sighs> That's really sucky, actually. So rock slide does work, 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 but he takes us down. So um, I'm going into Fletch Big Bro and throwing out the Flare Blitz. I mean, he actually kind of needs the zap those. It's what's holding. Townflame back, honestly. Otherwise, Townflame sweeps his team. Oh. How much does this do? Alright, so we're gonna go pull up Talon Flame here against, uh, what was it? Metagross. Flare Blitz does 67 to 79. That's damage. And if we get up a Sword Dance, that's a KO. Right, that's so. We're forcing him into Metagross, and that really cannot touch us. Back. Yeah, Zen Hippo, actually, but... This goes into Chansey. Look at that SD up as he's probably gonna paralyze. Fuck you. I knew I should have switched into like Starmie or something, but oh well. I'm actually gonna roost up here. Because I need to be like. This is where we lose. This is where we freaking lose. Wow. If we got three pair hacks in a row, there's Metagross. I'm gonna throw out the Flare Blitz, it's our only hope, really. And yeah, that is unfortunately game. Alright, so we're gonna try again with this team, and we have a Feminist over here. Just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna have to cut that out. Alright, so... <laughs> we have a very female f team over here, so yeah. Honestly, I see... Oh wow, he's bringing the X and Y because Sand Team with Conk. I'm gonna bring out um, Mew as Anthrax actually is the lead. And I'm gonna throw out the Stone Edge as he's not gonna be able to really stay in against this. As he does, unfortunately, U turn here. This is slow U turn off. So it's gonna be Mega Venusaur. Oh, what? 
team is actually really weird because he has Mega Venusaur with a Sand Team. Unless he just did not Mega Evolve, which I think that's Banded Damage if it did. No, I'm not bulky enough. Now we're just going to start the timer right now. And he goes into the Undertaker. And I'm going to go into Almunia, who really walls this out. I mean, yes, it can have Sheer Force Ice Punch, but that's more of the UU set than OU with Kong. So yeah, we see that it throws out the Mock Punch. And I'm predicting him going into Venusaur, so I'm going into Talonflame. As we do get the right prediction, and I'm going to SD up on his switch into something. Actually, no, Brave Bird is my best play because if he goes into a Hippo, he still gets some damage off, and it's not time to just freaking win yet. So I'm going to go into Almunia on this, and he does set up the rock, so I'm going to have to get Not Me out, and I'm going to just Giga Drain this thing. So he goes into Pantier, and I'm going to throw out the HP Fire as Venusaur can only really sludge bomb me, honestly. As it does Mega Evolve and it does Sludge Bomb and IHP Fire, which is neutral, so yeah, that kind of sucks. And since he's Sludge Bombing, I'm actually going to go into Trex. And we get Poisoned. Alright, I was going to keep Trex for just Death Fodder. And I'm going to go into Disty Oxy and, um. Do I want to play the Flinch game? No, I'm going to just go for an Earthquake. As he lives! But he does not take us out. Now, I'm going to go for the uh, Earthquake is still my best play. I do want to get Rocks up at some point, so I might do that next turn. As no, I'm going to... Rocks aren't important in this game. But I need to get him up. As he is able to take us down with that crit. Which is most on Fort. But whatever. And I'm just going to throw out the Crunch here. There we go. And for Alligator's out on the field, which is awesome. And he is going to go into... He has no media switch. Let's hold up. A Fable. What's a Fable going to do to me, honestly? I'm going to go into Almunia as he Thunder Waves, which good thing I switched out. And I'm going to throw out the Spore as no one is free. Oh, someone's going to sleep this turn. Someone is... No. And throw yeah, someone's going to sleep. If it's Clayble, it's Clayble. But it is the Scizor, which I could just HP fire this thing. She might think it's ice for some reason, but no, it's HP fire. As he will go down unless he swaps out, but that's kind of dumb. No, actually, that's a good play. Cause now I can't get, now I can't spore anything, and he is just that, which it is the sheer force one. All right, so we know that, and I'm gonna go into not me. Scare him off and go for a rapid spin on our side. There we go. Thank you, star me. You're the real star, but that's, remember, it's not me. As he goes into Scizor, and I'm going to go into Feraligator. Hopefully get one Dragon Dance off at least. And he does not wake up and go for a U-turn, which I think we're living because we're actually pretty bulky in defense. We have like base 105 or 100. As he does wake up and goes for the freaking toxic idiot. Alright, no, that's that was a good play. That was a good play. And we waterfall literally everything on this side of the field. We have a few turns to make use. Of course, he would get the wake up again. That's the thing. Spore always seems to wake up later. I mean, earlier than usual. So, I'm throwing out the waterfall. And the scissor goes down. Awesome sauce. But Weavile still is out, able to outspeed us, which kind of sucks, and we need to run out of it on for alligator to get the most out. But this goes into Undertaker, probably Mock Punch us, so I'll go back into Almunia, and there's the Mock Punch, and I'm going to throw out the Spore now, and someone is going to sleep again. And I won't mind if Hippo goes to sleep, honestly. That means I could just set up a D-Dance, as he just straight up forfeits right now. That is awesome. Alright, so, yeah, as I said, I'm not playing OU at all. My record's probably ash cheeks, but anyway, I'll see you guys at the next battle. As we do find him at one, and, ooh. Ah, he's gonna leave with a web, so. I'm, ah, it's gonna suck. 
Alright, so I'm just gonna go and lead with Trex, I think, on the Galvantula. And we'll bring him down to his Sash. And he'll just go down there. I don't know if you want. Great first turn. And now he goes freely into Bisharp since he knows we are choice. So I'm gonna go into Disty Hoxie as what? Alright. And I'm gonna set up my rocks because he has no way of removing them. And Charizard is ass with rocks up because he only can switch it in like once. Unless it's X. Which goes into Kelio. Alright. Alright, and I'm gonna go straight into Almunia right here. Yeah, he can't do anything to us, and I'm going to... We're out to clue... No, I don't want to show him that I have Clear Fog yet. I'll just go for a Giga Drain. Let's go Fable actually does come in. And I'm going... I'm gonna go for a Clear Smog right here. Just because, yep, there we go. Keep him at bay. And we could constantly do this, and what sucks for him is he has con uh, Contrary Superior, which... Ah, that does damage, boy. There we go. Now I'm going to go into Trex. Yeah, I'm going to go into Trex right here. Put up this. We eat them flamethrowers and go into Disty Hoxie. As we could eat up whatever wants to throw at us. And we could go for an Iron Head. So Moonblast, uh, sadly, we are not the bulkiest one out there. But we could throw out an Iron Head right here. If he goes Charizard, cool. Cool. As Clefable does go down, there we go. And we have a plus one speed Disty Hoxie. Sitting here at 38%, and it's guaranteed awesome. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Uh, we could. Keldeo, as he goes into Keldeo, he probably is Scarf Keldeo as he goes into it so willingly. So I'm gonna go back into Almunia. Again, Icy Wind. Owie, that hurts. Not really. And I'm gonna go into Not Me and Rapid Spin this web away. Because we could probably confirm that he is Scarf. And look, we eat that up. Only 38%. Boy. And we are going to get a free Rapid Spin off. Awesome. If he wants to trap us with Bisharp, oh well, that kind of sucks for us. But we need this web away. As he goes actually into Galvantula, he's probably going to set up another one. But I'm just going to go into Trex right now. As the rocks are hurting his Galvantula since it's bug type. Just in case you didn't know. But I'm gonna go for a Stone Edge right now. Sadly, he does hit us up with that Thunder Wave, so we're gonna be slower. But oh well, he's just gazing at the stars. Okay, so I'm going for just Stone Edge as he goes into Keldeo. And we miss another Stone Edge, so. So that sucks, but I'll go into Almunia. He knows that's our switching, so we could just easily go back into um Galvantula, so I'm gonna throw out another Stone Edge as he goes for an Icy Wind. Predicting that we land this one, but guess what? It does crap. So I'm gonna go into Starmie right here. What am I predicting? All right, hold up. He's gonna switch out to counter Tyranitar right now because we take him out. And his counter to Tyranitar kind of does is the Bisharp, so it's counter Bisharp. I guess we go Flesh Big Bro right now as he goes for another Icy Wind. I don't know why, but. I'll just hit him up with a Brave Bird. And yeah, that's damage on anyone. He, and he lets Kelio go down, which is great because that means that we are safe with Disty Hoxie. No more Icing Winding. And he cannot be faster. So he goes in the Bishop probably to pursue us or set up an SD. So yeah, put in a sticky situation. All right, so I don't want him. I don't want to give him a free SD. That's the thing. So I would really like to keep this thing around just in case this goes out of control. But we do have Almunia, so I'll go for. It. All right, as he goes straight for a knockoff. All right. Kind of sucks. Not gonna lie, but I'm gonna go into Trex right now and just throw out a superpower. Swap into Trex is power up punch. Don't get paralyzed. Good. Alright, so Bisharp is down, so this guy was trying to get some cheesy sets up in here. 
But yeah, Bisharp does go down, and our Trex is still alive. As you come in, and I'm going to go into Almunia, and we're going to be able to just eat up those hits. They do absolutely nothing, and clear smog them away. And he knows that too. He really does know this. So we've shown clear smog before, so this is great. This is looking awesome for us. As he puts up a sub, clear smog takes away the sub. That's cool. And he's hurt by the sandstorm, and we can recover that. As he actually has leftovers, which I don't know. He does have that, and we are able to clear smog that away. And one more clear smog. Sorry, got a hiccup. Uh, will take out the superior, which is awesome. So that was one of the things I wanted to keep Fletch for. As he goes into Charizard, which I cause. Uh, I guess I could go into a Trex right now. All right, hold up. If I go into Trex, he is probably gonna kill us with Earthquake or whatever. If we do live, cool. But I want the stand up so we can go down. So I could go into Disty Hoxie. Does it go down to an Iron Head? So we're going to go with the Excadrill Sandrush Sweeper against Charizard. We're just gonna go. There we go. We're gonna go with Dragon Ants. How much does an Iron Head do? 29 min. All right, so that's good. So we're going into Trex right now. If he's X, he is X. Awesome. And we could go into you and click Earthquake. We are faster. I did want Trex to go down there. And Earthquake guarantees damage on everybody. Superior will not be able to live too. Charizard goes down, and Galvantula would, would go down. So we have three more turns to kill two more Pokemon, which are both very low on health, because Galvantula will come in and be weakened. You could go into that, and I Iron Head you. And that should be game in the bag. Come on, Disty Hoxie. There we go. That's down, and Galvantula will go down. Alright, so we're going to go into Galvantula. You use Suicide Lead. Um, Earthquake? Yeah. As he does forfeit right there, so I don't know why I'm saying GG, but this will be the end of the OU Live, which have I even done one of these? I don't even know. Probably back when my channel was still in like December when I first made it. But anyway, that'll be it. Just I got one thing to say. And that is make sure you guys stay fly.